So this is a guide to music branding, how to stand out and stay authentic with Ditto Music. One of the main reasons why some artists get big and some don't is all to do with how they brand themselves. The music industry is such an overcrowded market with such a massive amount of newcomers into the scene. Only the ones that can really define themselves, not just by their music, but by their image and their unique brand, are always the ones who end up making it big. Now for new and emerging artists, this is especially important. Stamping down on your market early is the best way to grow your audience and the best way also to get loyal fans from the get-go. So how can you develop, cultivate, and market your own brand as a new artist? How can you stand up from the crowd and stay authentic to your art? I'm gonna take you through three important steps in establishing your brand and identity. So that's defining your brand, building it, and most importantly, marketing. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to the Ditto Music YouTube channel. I'm gonna need you to like, make sure you hit that notification bell, comment down below, and you guys make sure you share this video, get interactive down there in the comments. So leave any questions down below, we'll be interacting with as many as we can, so make sure you get involved. All right, so let's dive in. Now before we begin, it's important to remember that creating and exploiting an interesting, exciting, and engaging brand image for your music persona doesn't necessarily happen overnight. In fact, it's very much a process, and in fact, one that could take years to develop or it could be set in stone. It all really depends on you as a musician and what you envision for your image as an artist, as a brand. Now the concept of a musician's image is a lot of the time very a subjective thing. It can't really be pinned down to one specific thing or feature. But to help me explain, we're gonna break down the concept of music branding into three different steps. So let's go through each one. Step one will be defining your brand. Now exactly what does it mean to define your brand? Defining your brand as an artist can definitely be a little bit tricky. A lot of the time you're gonna feel like you don't know how to start or where to start. It's good to really think about it in the terms of what makes you and your music stand out. So you're gonna wanna ask yourself questions like, what or who inspires you? What sets you apart? What subcultures and genres do you and your music belong to? What's your style and fashion taste? Who would you appeal to? Answering these questions is a big step forward in really defining your personal brand and image. It'll really help you to narrow down what makes you unique from the other artists and musicians in the industry. But I mean, if you're still unsure, really just have a look around, look at your artist friends, look at people in the industry, look at artists that you like, musicians and bands that you like, and take inspiration from what they're doing, what they look like, what they are perceived to be like. But let's just say you've gone with the question of what or who inspires you. First, you'll need to look through all the music that inspires you the most and think about three artists, bands or musicians that fit that pocket. Musicians that you respect and admire. Now, if you were to describe or break these artists down into two words, what would those words be? Once you've identified them, you can use what you've come up with to start identifying and trying to understand your own image, your own personal brand. And you can use that as a starting point. All right, let's try it out. Let's be a little bit generic. If we use an artist like Lady Gaga, for example, what two words will fit with her? Maybe extravagant and an activist. So then you would use these traits as a starting point to help you build your own style, image, and your own brand. So when I use terms like creating, putting together, identifying, or building, you're gonna think about it more subjectively because chances are you'll probably already share some of these characteristics with the artists that you respect and admire. So you might kind of think this is copying someone else's image, but the truth is it isn't. Even some of the world's biggest artists and bands had their own personal heroes that inspired them on their way to stardom. So taking inspiration from someone that you admire really is just a huge part of any artist's journey. Now there's an old argument that developing and cultivating cultivating your music brand and image can take away from the authenticness of you as an artist. But the truth is the two should be intrinsically linked. Your image should ultimately originate from your own authenticity. And the way that you convey your authentic image to your fans is how you translate your authentic identity, which takes us to the second step in branding process. How to effectively build your brand and convey it to your audiences. Now I would say that this second step is probably even more important than the first step. Because while trying to build your brand image can be a very ambiguous part of any kind of brand development. Building your brand is actually where all the pieces come together. This is all about creating real, marketable, and easily recognizable ideas that you can use in your logos, assets, graphics, performances, and your products. Aside from your actual music itself, there's actually a number of ways that you can build and communicate your unique identity to your audience. This could include your artist name, your band name, your logo, your physical appearance, your live performance style, your artist website, and even your social media presence. 
But what's absolutely key across all these mediums is strong brand management and consistency. Logos are a big one in music branding. So we can look at this in terms of the world's biggest artists and see how they use their logos to convey and portray and translate their image. For example, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, their logo is simple and memorable. I mean, it has all the features that you would expect to find in a good logo. A simple font choice, a basic color scheme, and then some sort of icon or symbol. Logos like the Red Hot Chili Peppers have become so ingrained in music culture that we instantly see them and it becomes associated with an artist. And by that rule, the logo comes to form a part of their image. So when it comes to creating your own brand name, think about the tone of voice and the image that you'll use to convey yourself as an artist. This is a great way to truly help you stand apart because as we know, no two logos will be the same. And it's definitely worth investing in some professional software like Photoshop or hiring a graphics designer. And this is all for creating those logos, those social images, those gig posters. You really wanna make sure they always look up to scratch and look the part. Third and final step of developing that all important artist image is marketing your brand. Now you've delved into your inspirations, developed an image that looks right, and you've created some killer branding. Now it's time to actually think about how you're gonna market your brand to your audiences. The whole point of marketing when it comes to branding, especially as a new artist, is creating an awareness of your brand to others. As mentioned before, the reason why artists like Red Hot Chili Peppers are so engraved in the music culture and society is not only down to how they've defined and built their image, it's also down to how they have successfully utilized marketing activities to propel their brand and image to huge audiences. Marketing is essentially just making your brand known. Things like your music merch, live shows, social media, email marketing are all important channels that you can utilize to develop and really hone in on your image and your brand. Your distinctive and authentic brand image should be at the heart of everything you market through these channels. It should make clear who you are, what your appeal is, who you appeal to, and why people should even be interested in you. Music merch is a big one. Think about any time you've gone to a concert and you bought merch like a t-shirt from an artist that you really wanted to see. What did you expect to see on it? What did you see on it? Usually some kind of visual representation of that artist or their project that they've just released or something to do with that specific concert and them. So when you are designing merch, it's so important to incorporate your branding and image somewhere within the design on the merch that you're putting out and selling. Whether that be your logo or even your artist name in that specific font or some kind of color scheme that marries and matches to your brand and your image. But what's key is to keep that same image and branding on all of your merch wherever or whatever it might be. Keep it consistent across all the other marketing channels. But why? Like I said before, consistency and management is so crucial to the entire branding process. All right, so let's go back and let's stick with the Red Hot Chili Peppers just for a second. As you can see, their recognizable logo and branding is consistent. Consistent across their merch, socials and their email. Fans and audiences know exactly what to expect from them and can easily recognize something to be Red Hot Chili Pepper related as soon as they see it. So for your brand, it might mean using the same font type on your merch, uh, with your graphics or even your gig posters. Or perhaps keeping the same color scheme across your email banners and marketing or even your socials. The main point is that your marketing efforts will only really work if people begin to recognize your brand every time you post it up, send it out, email it out, and they receive it. That all relies with them being met with the same image again and again and again. And last but not least, one really important thing not to forget, when you are thinking about branding, is make great music. At the end of the day, your branding and image needs to be backed up by high quality and well-produced music. And that's if you wanna get where you wanna be. Making great music that resonates with people will allow your music and your branding to fall in place way more easily. Yes, so that brings us to the end of the video. Now you know all the important steps on exactly how to develop artist brands, stand out and stay authentic. Remember, if you wanna read more about music branding for artists, you can head over to the Ditto website, dittomusic.com and check out the blog section and dive in. So from me, Vital and the whole Ditto team, I wanna say thank you, really appreciate you and definitely we're gonna catch you guys in the next one. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video and get down in the comment section, drop some comments, some questions. We'll be there active and we'll reply and getting back to as many as we can. Catch you guys in the next one. More love, myself Vital. Peace.